Hello everybody and welcome back to Plan with Ivy. My name is Ivy and today I'm going to be doing a room decor slash craft haul for you guys. And yes, for my regular videos, you are seeing my face today. So but that doesn't usually happen on this channel. So today, for the first time ever, you're seeing my bedroom. And it's pretty plain. Yeah, my bedroom has not been decorated since I was a baby. My parents painted some bears in the wall and my walls are white. And that's pretty much all I have going on. I have some art pieces that we've collected over the years, some stickers that I have from my Kim Possible birthday when I was like eight, and a picking up a great year banner that I got from school. And I want this room to grow up because I'm growing up now, so I want a more grown up room. So I'm going to make it for myself, minus the stuffed animals. All my stuffed animals are staying, but the rest of the room will be grown up. So for my room, I decided to go with a beachy theme. For those of you who haven't been here before, most of you guys already know at this point that I love ocean. I love beaches, I love ocean animals, I love marine biology, so that is what I want my room to show that I am a water baby at heart. I've already started a little bit with my seascape bedding that I have here. I've had this for a few months, but I didn't really start getting this idea until I went to Bed Bath & Beyond last Tuesday and started seeing stuff that could be perfect for my room if I went along with this theme, and from that point I just ran with it and I collected a whole bunch of stuff which I will be showing you guys in this haul that I'm going to be using to completely transform my room and maybe make a whole video series about this. If you would like that, give this video a thumbs up and tell me in a comment down below what kind of crafts and room decor stuff you guys would like to see. And you know what? Before we go further into this haul, we're going to change music because this needs a little bit more tropical feel. So we're going to start with Bed Bath & Beyond, which is the place that sparked this whole idea. And we're going to start with the very item that sparked me changing up my room, which is this table runner. So I found this in Bed Bath & Beyond, as I said, and it has a whole bunch of seashells and sea-esque colors on it. And I thought this would be perfect in one part of my room. I have so, a lot of table space that I'm able to decorate in my room, so I need a lot of things to cover it. And I thought this would be perfect to go on top of my dresser, so you see some seashells some starfish and some other little sea patterns in here and this is what sparked the whole idea and from that point on while I was in Bed Bath & Beyond I just looked for a whole bunch of seascape items and I'm gonna show you some of the other things I found I did buy like every single seascape thing I found because if I did I would have ran my bank account dry but still I found a fair amount so second I found this little placemat that has some seashells some sand and is on like a tannish beachy sort of wood like probably birch or something like that I'm not sure I don't know woods actually but I thought this was really cool I was originally gonna use this as a background stone for some of my planner videos but I found something else to background for that so this is going somewhere in my room I'm very excited about it because I love the print of this and these are just some of the colors I'm going to be looking for in to put in my room next we have this napkin I'm probably not gonna go back to a lot of the stores that I went to so I want to make sure that I stocked up on a few things that could go in these places and I can use in multiple places in my room everything that you're seeing in this haul I've already found a place for in some sort of way so don't worry I'm not wasting anything just in the moment I didn't think I was gonna use it but now that I've actually like planned everything out I do have places for everything so this is a napkin that has some seahorses some shells and some starfish on it in the same color scheme as the shell table runner that you saw and the little placemat next we have this cloth quilted placemat that is also in the same color scheme it has some shells conch shells on it it also has some other types of shells on it and it's in the same color scheme and on the other side it does have some stripes and things on it in the same color scheme so I thought that would be really great as I said I have a place for everything that I'm showing you right now and I also found this other placemat I have a lot of placemats if you can tell I found this beaded placemat in Bed Bath & Beyond as well it's just a whole bunch of little beachy colors and I think it turned and I think this is perfect to use in one of the areas in my room I have a place for it I swear and I love the way it like rolls up easily and I think you can use this for like multiple purposes you don't even have to use it as like a placemat you can just roll it up like this and I think it will look great just like this you can use it as like a scroll oh it's totally like those scroll things like you've seen and like some of those in Sagwa the Sandinese 
Chinese cats, how the cats are the scribes. They totally have scrolls like this, and then you pull it apart like this. Oh my god, just realizing this. But I thought this would be a great piece to have in my room. Finally, for Bed Bath Beyond, I found the most perfect decorative pillow I've ever found. Wait for it. And this type of pillow has been going around Facebook and Instagram so much that when I found them in the store, I was so happy about it. But then I found one that went perfectly with my color scheme, and that was even more perfect. So here it is. Ready? Are you ready for this? You're not ready for it. It is the glitter ombre pillow. Look at it. Look at it. Ah! And if you haven't seen this type of pillow before, basically one side is one color, like the main color. Also, the back is the same color as this. But when you run your fingers over it, it changes colors. This one is like a more bronzy tone. And then you have the teal tone on the other side. So it's just like, oh my god, look at it. And you can like write little designs in it and stuff like that. And I think it's so cool. It's definitely going on my bed. It's actually been on my bed for the past few days while I've been waiting to film this haul. And and I love it. I usually don't have decorative pills, but this is one I'm willing to make that sacrifice for because it's so pretty and I think it's perfect to go in my room. So I'm very excited about this pillow. And that is everything I got from Bed Bath Beyond. I did get a lot more, but they're more so smaller things. So we're gonna switch camera angles and go to my desktop. So now we're going to move on to some of the smaller items that I got for my room. So first I got these two boxes of fairy lights, if you will, from Pier 1 Imports. This one is 10 feet long with some amber lights, and this is an example of the amber lights. And then we have a 5 foot one of these cool white lights, which are much cooler, as you can tell. There's a little side-by-side -side comparison of the two. I think both of them will go well with my theme, but I just wanted two options, especially since I'm probably not going to go back to Pier 1 Imports because there are too many things there that I want in my room, so I can't give in to temptation until I have the rest of the room done and I can see what I actually need to get for my room. So no more Pier 1 imports, just got the fairy lights because I couldn't find them anywhere else. Next, we are going to move on to Joanne Fabrics and Crafts. And let me tell you, this was the second place I stopped after Bed Bath & Beyond, and I went crazy. And also, I call Joanne's like the thriftier crafter shop. Like, Michael's is like the high-end crafter shop. Joanne's is a lot cheaper, and you still get a lot of good quality stuff for a much cheaper price. So, if you're like a small-time crafter, try to go for Joanne so you can get like the cheaper stuff, but still good quality. If you're like super into crafting, go for Michael's straight away. But first I'm going to show you what I got from Joann's. So starting off from the first thing that I grabbed while I was in there, I got this piece that says life is better at the beach. Perfectly fits in with my theme. And just this piece of wood that has like a star in the background. If you guys can tell, the star is right here. And then it's very cool. It has this kind of diamond pattern on the sides. And you can actually hang it up if you wish with this string here. But I'm just going to probably put this on my nightstand because I think it will look really good there. But you can just stand it up like this and it works. So I thought that was really cute. It was one of the very first things I saw in the store and I had to have it. Next we have this nautical netting that I got from Joanne's as well. So it stretches about 14 feet long and I was thinking about using this on my wall as like a decorative piece. I'm going to be trying to glue some of the other things that I'll be showing you guys in this haul onto it so it can like hang. It's like a net that's been pulled out of the deep blue ocean. I think that would be a cool thing to go for. So that's what I got this for. Next, we have two sets of decorative stones here. We have this more cool faded one. There are marble accents. Some people put these in vases. I'm going to be using these for decorations for multiple things. And then we have this more glossy type. Let me move this around for you guys so you can see it. But it's like glossy pearls. They're like sea and aqua colors. They're also decorative accents that I'm going to be using in multiple things throughout my rooms. So I got two varieties just to be sure because as I said before, I don't know if I'm going to be going back to some of these places because of how much I spent in some of these places. So stock up on supplies now. Worry later. Next we have some cork board which I'm going to be using in multiple pieces. I got these four cork things that I actually have used these in the past to create some cork silhouettes for my room and I'm going to be doing that again because I love the way it turned out and I have some new ideas of what I want to use for silhouettes. And I also got this roll of cork that I could use in other things. But I'm thinking about doing a cork DIY in the future so I will have some extra cork on hand. Next we move on to something that every DIY girl needs. A hot glue gun. So this is a mini hot glue gun. It's very easy to use. You just plug it in and it turns on and that's something I like. So when you unplug it, it's unplugged and you don't have to worry about turning it on and off button. And 
so I thought it was really cool. And I also got these 30 mini size glue sticks to go with it. I never had a hot glue gun before. I've used multiple, but I've never had one for myself, so I'm really happy to have one for myself. Next, something so cool. I found this beach scene sticker in the sticker section at Joann's, and it's just like some palm trees, a little hut with some drinks, and a lounge chair I thought was really cool. I'm thinking about making a 3D piece with this. Next, we have these adhesive pearls in two colors, this tealish color right here, and then these standard pearl colors the white pearl and then I also got this huge bag of pearls just to let me move this so I can show you guys it's just a standard bag of like pearl like shapes so some whites some golden ones some more peachy ones and also it even has some little diamonds in it if you guys can see right there little diamonds so a whole bunch of things that I could be using so next we have these three bags of beads here these are more cylinder shape and these after it are more spherical so like just regular round beads Beads. And then we have these bigger, more across between the two beads. If you guys want to see videos for all the crafts I'm making for my room, leave a comment down below saying you really want to see this video. And give this video a thumbs up if you really do want to see these videos I'm trying to create for you guys. Next, we have a bag full of shells. What is a seascape room without some shells? So these are not real. Some of them are your standard clam shells, and then you have some spherical shells here. Just a whole variety of shells. Again, a lot of them so I don't have to go back later. Next we have some decorative sand. It kind of looks like this cork board here, but it is sand. And so it's a very coarse type of sand that I'm going to be using in multiple pieces because I said it's a seascape. It's a seascape without sand. Finally, we have our painting tools for this experience experience that we are trying to create here. So I got some foam brushes, just two sizes of the standard black foam brush that a lot of you guys may have worked with in the past. And I had this more durable, smaller brush because a lot of my DIYs are going to be smaller, so there's no reason to get like the huge type. And then I also got a sponge roller paint roller so I can put colors on a huge base with less effort. I'm going to be making a corkboard DIY in the future so I want this anyway but I know I can use in some of the other DIYs that I want to do later as well. And then finally here are some of the new pink colors I got. I got some light blue. Let me give you guys a bottom view so you can see it. And I also got this high gloss multi-surface teal color here. Hopefully you guys can see these colors as well as I can see them here. And then I have this sort of tan satin multi-surface color here. It's very like pearl-esque. Then this extreme glitter paint here. This is silver glitter. And then this other tan, more like the more yellowish tan color here, the, which is a, another acrylic paint. So here's like a close-up of all the colors I got. If you guys can see it, hopefully you can. But these are some very light colors. And that is everything I got from Joann's. Next, we have some craft supplies that I got from Michael's. And because I had already gone to Joann's, a few days before there was no reason to go as crazy at Michael's so I did get less stuff but still a fair amount. First I got these foam bouncer tops which is basically you can screw these onto the top of a paint can like here and then you can squeeze out the paint instead of having to like squeeze out some paint for when you're using the paint. You just squeeze it out and it comes through the brush and you can use it on any surface and I love the idea so I got this pack here. Then I got these little mini sea creatures pack. I got in this pack there are some dolphins, this baby sea turtle coming out of a shell, a little clownfish, a shark, a stingray, a starfish, a baleen whale, and a killer whale as well. So very excited about this. And I also got a model sea turtle here. Well, most people don't know this, but actually my top three sea animals are octopus, dolphins, and sea turtles. So I expect a lot of that in my decor as this series progresses. I couldn't find a model octopus, which is truly my favorite animal. It's literally been my favorite animal since I was four. We had to go up in class and say what our favorite animal is. Everybody else said like dog, cat, horse, something like that. And I had the audacity to go up and say octopus. Literally, that is my favorite animal. It has been my favorite animal for so long. And I 
am definitely featuring in my room. Don't you worry. Next, we have some shells here. We have these two little sand dollars here that will go into some of my other pieces. And then we also have these conch shells. And uh, for those of you who don't know, a conch is a creature that lives in the shell. This is what it's known to look like, but there's actually a creature that usually lives in the shell. These are not real, but I love conch shells, so you gotta have the shell here. Next, we have this golden paint right here that is multi-surface as well. It's like a golden luster paint, and I think this will go well in many things I'm doing, even if it's not for my seascape. As I said, I love crafting, so this is something that I really like having. Next, we have another crafter staple. We have some Mod Podge. This is a matte Mod Podge, which means that it dries and it won't really reflect as well. I also have a glossy Mod Podge at home, but because of how much Mod Podge I'm going to be using for these DIYs, I need new. I need another thing of it, so I got another one. And speaking of Mod Podge, they're actually the same company makes these little molds that have like octopuses, seahorses, shells, and stuff. You so you can fill these molds and make multiples of one item. And I'm going to try to use that with my hot glue gun so I can make multiple shells because these are like a little bit smaller than the bigger shells that I got. So I thought this would be good to have on hand. Next, we have some dolphin stickers, which are super cute. So we have two dolphins and they have some water splatters around them, if you can tell. And I think that looks really, really cool. Next, we have these little cardboard pieces, which were shaped to look like a dolphin, a conch shell, and seahorses, and it comes with three in a pack. There was another set that came with like sea turtles and octopuses, but the only pack that I could find had been opened and stuff was taken out of it, so I didn't want to buy that pack, but this one is just as good because I love these pieces as well. Next, we have more sand. I know I have two types of sand, but this is like the clear crystalline sand that I was looking for, and I intend on using both types, but I think this one is really cool as well. I'm going to be using these in some other pieces, so I got the sand. And the final thing for this haul are these two pieces of mini display domes and basically it's like a cake tray of sorts where basically it's just like a little dome and you have a little tray beneath it and you can put stuff in there. So I got two of them and these were the last two in the store so I'm very thankful for that. And that is everything for my room decor and craft haul. Now back up top. So if you guys have enjoyed this haul please give this video a thumbs up and tell you what your favorite piece that I bought down below was. I think I love every piece equally. It's very hard for me to choose between them. Except I really do like the shells that I showed you guys. I think those are really cool. Also, this pillow. This pillow. Pillow is one of my favorite things ever. Ever. But if you want to see me do an entire room makeover series on my channel, then give this video a thumbs up. Tell me a comment down below and subscribe to this channel so you can actually see when those videos come up. And turn on the post notifications by pressing the bell icon so you get notified every single time I make a video. Until next time, this is been Ivy. Thank you for watching and hopefully I see you in my next video. Bye!